All right, guys, welcome to another new morning in the Long Dark Interloper series. So jumping off here, um, basically right where we left off at the end of last time. If you didn't catch the end of that episode, we are in Winding River. I just dug into the uh, cave that's kind of in the basin area for the night. Um, we do have cabin fever at the moment, so I kind of had to, you know, make use of the cave to sleep in for the night. So. Um, we slept through the night and I woke up and I still had quite a bit of time left on my fire So I pretty much just came in here. I've made a little bit of coffee. You know, I might as well just go create or uh, cook the last um, coffee that I've got available and uh, Maybe we'll head out of here. So yeah, I made, made some coffee made some more water and made some tea um, Kind of what I've been up to um, with this little bit of extra time. I got so yeah, let's go ahead and drink that Get a little bit of calories get some warmth and then we'll hit the road here so yeah give me a torch give me my bedroll and let's hit the road um yeah so i appreciate you guys all being here as usual um you know always as always can't say that enough um if you are new here though and maybe haven't subscribed to the channel maybe you've checked out you know a couple episodes and and haven't subscribed yet i'd uh, invite you to go ahead and do that um, I put out a, a lot of long dark content. It's personally one of my favorite games. So if it's the uh, same story for you, then I promise it will be a good match. Um, so let's get on the road here. Try and get out of here before things get too cold. Now let's grab a couple sticks. It's always good to at least have a couple of them. And I used all of that I had last night. So. Stone, Nicole. That's stone. Okay, so obviously headed into the dam here. Um, the only thing we really need to worry about at this point is the wolf that spawns up here, which I don't see him yet. So that's a good start. Kind of strafe in here to see if I see him at all. No, I don't see him at all. So not a bad start. Yeah, so I want to get to a forge. That's ultimately kind of my objective right now. So I've kind of got a couple options. Oh, yeah, he's going for that rabbit. Um, so he'll be distracted by the time we get over there. Um, so my options for forge... Oh, he's going to be a little closer than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> I just I imagined him out there uh, with that rabbit. I kind of didn't realize that he was going to chase that rabbit basically directly into our path. Okay, we should still be able to get by. I'm fine. Um, yeah, so my couple options are one um, Going through coastal highway to desolation point um, or going to broken railroad through forlorn muskeg and so um, Where can I find something to eat? I kind of was thinking wrong I was when I was thinking about the map um, when you come out of the dam and take a left when you're in mystery lake I was for some reason thinking that that was what took you to broken railroad and, and thinking about it now um, I, I realized that that actually just basically takes you a long way to Coastal Highway, which if we were going to go to Coastal Highway, we would have just gone from Pleasant Valley. <laughs> so I think we'll still go towards Broken Railroad, even though it's farther than I was kind of making it in my head. Um, it just kind of is what it is, honestly. So that's kind of what I'm planning. Um, we'll get up into the dam here and warm up for a little while and then push through. Um, and get over towards uh, maybe like camp office hopefully hopefully it doesn't take us a full day to get over there but you never know with warmth and weather and wolves and all of the other factors that can impact that travel situation so we'll see how it goes um, yeah uh, one thing I did kind of want to maybe give an update on um, as well while I've kind of got you, got you guys watching the episode here is um, I think I've talked in the last couple episodes probably about like what what you know plans were for the release schedule for the channel um, in the future put that away and so I've kind of been thinking and kind of listened to some of the feedback from from the subscribers and things and I think what I'm leaning towards now is probably doing like uh, like obviously right now I put out an episode in this series each and every day um, which I'm having a lot of fun with this series and um, obviously with this game ooh, ooh. interesting but I can't get to it unless I chop this and I don't want to spend the time right now to do that so I don't know that I've ever noticed that little uh, container back there I've never felt so cold in my life. did I search that? it's kind of blending in here as well yeah I did 
anyway <laughs> um I, so i put out an episode here each and every day um i i don't mind doing that I, you know i love the series it just gives me an excuse to to play this uh this uh save but um I think long term, like if I want to continue to grow the channel, which is ultimately my goal, um, it's kind of important to branch out a little bit. So I'm kind of leaning towards doing like probably like Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this series. Um, and then, you know, Tuesday and Thursday being, you know, something else. Uh, what that is is kind of up in the air. Obviously, I have a Green Hell series going on as well, which if you haven't checked that out, would invite you to go do that. Um, so, you know, maybe like do a, a Tuesday, Thursday in the Green Hell kind of thing, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday belongs to this series. Um, oops, I'm going, going the wrong way. But, um, and I don't know, that that to me is still not perfect. We need to get inside. I think, honestly, probably what my perfect case scenario would be or maybe the best option would be like to do so monday wednesday uh, friday here in the interloper series and then maybe like tuesday is green hell and then maybe thursday is kind of um you know another another title um or another series like thursday could be a couple things it could be um, just double checking everything because you guys know I missed a bunch of stuff in here before. But Thursdays could be a completely different game. Um, there are a couple of other games that kind of got in my back pocket that I wouldn't mind uh, kind of bringing into the channel. Or, uh, you know, I kind of started the channel with some of the challenges here in the Long Dark and kind of gotten away from doing that just because this series does take, uh, you know, quite a bit of, quite a bit of time to, to get out of Episode 4 every day and... You know, some days I just don't have time to dedicate to, you know, getting an episode ready for this series as well as something else. Um, so Thursdays can be, you know, like I said, challenges or uh, just one of those other games. Um, and it could rotate too. Um, not saying I've got it all figured out. And not saying that, like, anything right now is set in stone. But that's just kind of what I've come to, to think might be the best option, at least lately. Um, and I'll probably, like, um, this is, this episode will probably air, or come out on Wednesday. I think, yeah, Wednesday. So, like, I'll probably finish out at least this week on every day with this series, and then maybe we'll transition into kind of the updated schedule next week. So, still a few days to kind of decide, ultimately, what the, the final product's going to look like. But that's the way I'm at least leaning right now. Um... And you'll notice in there that I did not mention Saturday or Sunday. Um, honestly, to this point in the history of the channel, um, Saturdays and Sundays are just kind of hit and miss. Um, and what I mean by that, I guess, is that like the the just honestly the number of views that seem to come in on Saturday and Sunday are not as high. Um, as what they are during the week, which seems kind of backwards if you think about it, because, uh, you know, um, y you think Saturday and Sunday, a lot more people are like off work. They might have more time to spend watching YouTube. Um, but, uh, and, and during the week, you know, they'd be busier with their jobs and things, but it kind of seems to be the back backwards. So I don't like just thinking about that, like from a big picture, it's like, you know, on the weekend, you know, there might be other things people are wanting to go do, right? Like, you know, you want to go out and see your friends or, you know, go see a movie or, you know, do those other kind of things that you can't do during the week. Whereas, like, during the week, you're, uh, at least for me, like, with COVID and everything, I've pretty much been working from home for uh, going on two years now, gosh. And so I've got, you know, tons more time to dedicate towards, like, or not dedicate, but just like, you know, throw up a screen, kind of watch some of my favorite content, that type of thing. So I don't know. That's just something I've got in my head anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm kind of leaning towards, I don't know, Saturday and Sunday, uh, either not, not putting out content or, um, you know, maybe like those days are when I primarily focus on creating content and editing content. And then that way, like that full week's ready to go. Um, you know, once Monday rolls around. I don't know. Again, just kind of thinking out loud. 
Um, you guys are obviously more than welcome to provide feedback or all that type of fun stuff. Uh, let's jump in here and I'm going to leave some more stuff behind um, just to try and lose some more weight. So we'll leave one pot. Um, I want to leave some of the cloth behind because we still have a ton of cloth. So let's leave like half of this. So we're not going to need 48 pieces of cloth. Um, yeah, and I guess I really could be doing this, um, like at camp office or something. That's okay though. We're, we're here. Let's do it. Oop, don't want to leave that guy behind. Yeah. Now I'm kind of wanting to do it at camp office. Yeah. Give me my stuff back. <laughs> Give me my stuff back, Locker. Um, okay. So let's warm up for another minute or so, and then we'll, we'll keep pushing forward. Um, but yeah, so Saturday, I, I kind of had the idea as well, like, you know, maybe Saturday is just a, like a purely like rotational day or kind of wild card. So like, you know, if I've got an episode in this series where I'm just, maybe I'm excited about it or something crazy happened and I want to get it in front of you guys, you know, I can't wait till Monday or something, or maybe it's something like that in one of the other series. Um, you know, maybe Saturday kind of is just a an open day to where I can put out anything and then maybe Sunday becomes that day of recording and editing and all that fun stuff. So I don't know. Yeah. Again, just, uh, just thinking through some things, nothing set in stone. Um, not, uh, making any quick changes or anything to the channel, but that's what I'm thinking. And, uh, obviously the channel's still super young too. So, um, you know, Still trying to figure some of that stuff out. All right, let's go outside and see what the situation's like. Oh gosh, we might not be going much of anywhere today. I would think we should still be able to get across to camp office. Just a question of like how quick, how quickly does this turn? I wish all that coffee and stuff is none of it's probably hot anymore. Otherwise, I'd drink one right now. doesn't help that it looks like the way that I want to go is like engulfed in wind <laughs> so if I try to go that way it's like we're gonna be walking into the wind the entire time so gosh it is cold 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 Let's jump in here again man never fails guys never fails anytime I want to go do something it's a gunsmithing book I'm sure I left that there for the obvious reasons How's my cabin fever looking? Six more hours? So I need to spend six hours outside today? Is that... Am I thinking about that correctly? That seems like a ton of time. Is any of this still warm by chance? I, I really doubt it. Yeah, no, none of it's warm. Just drink some water means I can't pass time or anything indoors either. So I pretty much have to move. Ugh. Never a dull moment, guys. Alright, well let's let's keep pushing then. Maybe if we go down this back way we'll be out of the wind a little bit. Does that seem like a solid approach? Oh no, we're still directly into the wind. Gosh yeah it's it's starting to turn. Which is just soul crushing because I have nowhere to go tonight uh, if this uh, cabin fever doesn't resolve itself. Uh, I'll, I'll have to sleep outdoors again. Die if I don't warm up soon. This is not good, my friends. Not good. Out of the wind here. Let's go get in this truck. See what that's like. Uh, still cold. Negative 10, it's negative 50 degrees out. Six hours. Yeah, we're just getting colder and colder and colder. Shoot. This was really not in the plans, my friends. All right, let's go to the trailer. If we are going to try and move, then we need to be as light as possible. 
so I'll go ahead and just leave some of that stuff I was hoarding with me. Uh, let's break one of these guys down, get him out of our way. Maybe, who knows, maybe the uh, storm, maybe it'll be a quick one. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I know. Alright. Guess this will be a little unofficial checkpoint. We'll leave some stuff here. Drop the bear pelt. Um, this thing's like gold though, so we definitely need to remember that it's here. What else? What else can we leave behind? Not a whole lot, guys. <laughs> I guess this torch is no good. I should put it in something so it disappears, but I'll just put it up there, out of the way. So we're down to 81 pounds. Let's drink a little bit of water. It's keeping, keeping us heavy. Man, there's just not a whole lot that I'm willing to... Oh, we still have all that cloth. I said I was gonna leave some of that behind. Is there a container in here though? of any kind, there's really not. Um, so I don't have like a safe spot to leave that. I mean, I can just dump it all on the floor, I guess. It's too bad this, uh, none of these lockers are good. All right, well, I guess let's just drop it all on the floor. So let's drop like half of it. So we'll do 24. All right, so that gets us down to 10 pounds overweight. Yeah, look at all of it. Oh, there was this backpack here. Oh well, it's already on the floor. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick up 24 pieces of cloth just to move it. <laughs> move it like two inches across the room. Uh, all right, well, let's break down this other box. That should be another 27 minutes and see what the storm does. It, it's probably, that's yeah, it's not nearly enough time to consider that it would be going. All right, well, I guess we're forced to kind of go in there, um, so. Say a little prayer, guys. Hopefully this works out. We'll see. Yeah, just not not a great situation out here. Could drink some coffee. You can kind of run and then drink some coffee to get the fatigue level down, or up, or down, or however you want to call that. Okay, cattail. Alright, I was hoping coming this way would kind of keep us out of the wind, but so far it's kind of a bust. Although it kind of looks like the wind changed directions, honestly. Yeah, it did. So it's at our back now. Now we've wasted time out here, though. The bad thing. Can't really turn around and change, change directions. Yeah, we're already freezing. Goodness. Goodness gracious, guys. I mean, worst comes to worst, and we turn around and go back Damn. into the... the Freeze. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep moving. Shouldn't be wasting time doing that. Alright, let's push on. Hopefully we can make this work. Not. <laughs> There's really not a if not. <laughs> we are committed at this point. If we don't make it over there, then yeah, you guys can probably guess what happens. We might be fig figuring something else out to fill our Monday, Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> okay, so it does change direction a little bit. Yeah, there it is. I think we'll make it. At least a camp office. Alright, so let's pick up the pace a little bit while we can. Shouldn't have to contend with any wolves or anything along the way, so... Let's go. 
Um, and just another thought, like, I just wanted to put this out there as well, that, like, so when I talk about adding games and stuff, like, obviously I want to continue to grow the channel, because, like, growing the channel is going to be what allows me to, you know, invest more time in it. And so bringing in more of an audience by branching out into some of those other games as well is kind of kind of the motivation for doing that. So, yes, Long Dark is, is probably my favorite of some of the other stuff that I'm, I'm going to, you know, try and get out there, but... Um, I just kind of got to diversify for, you know, long-term growth. So that's kind of kind of the reasoning behind it. I don't know that I'd really clearly said that, but... Um, so yeah, along with that, obviously, just take an opportunity again to say thank you guys for all of the support you've given me so far. It's been great and awesome. Blow my expectations out of the water. Alright, where are we? <laughs> what is going on? Alright, so we haven't come across the train crash yet, so we do still have some distance to cover. And our condition's getting pretty low. Getting down to the Ono zone. Alright, here's the derailment. So we're coming up on camp office. Still got a ways to go, but we're getting closer. Any coal out here by chance? No, that would be asking too much. Oh, okay. Oh no, zone. But we don't have too much farther to go. Maybe try and cut the corner a little bit. Keep running when we can. It's only about midday. Look at that too, the wind is almost like starting to shift towards our face. <laughs> it's like it knows, guys. It's like it knows. At this point though, I'm still not, not worried. Like, we should get inside in plenty of time, and then I'll drink some coffee or something to uh, get our calories up so we quit losing calories or uh, condition from being hungry. Heck, maybe we'll even eat early. Kind of be nice to know what, uh, you know, how long the storm's gonna last. Oh gosh. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little worried. <laughs> we're farther than I thought we were. I don't know, guys. I don't know. The problem is too is that once I get there, I can't just jump into bed and sleep because um, of the cabin fever. Assuming we still have it, which I don't know why we wouldn't, but we should get inside and be able to warm up because it should be it's right in front of us now. Should see it in the next few steps. Never a dull moment. Come on. Don't fail me now, McKenzie. You gotta want it, dude. You got to want it. We're so close. Alright, we made it. We made it. Get in. Alright, hit that coffee. <laughs> I guess we could eat the couple of cattails I did pick up as well. Alright, get this condition turned around. Well, that's the first time we've almost died in a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm not going to be able to pass time or anything in here. Three more hours, so... Uh, this is probably as good a place as any to go ahead and wrap the episode, guys. Um, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see anything I'm doing anyway for the next uh, next little bit of time. So we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, you know, I, I think I've said it a couple times now in the episode. I appreciate, you know, each and every one of you guys tuning in um, to the channel each and every day for the series and all the other series and things that I've had out. So, again, thank you. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you know are enjoying watching me almost kill myself um, on a somewhat regular basis, then I would invite you to go ahead and uh, subscribe. And you can hopefully get to see that a little bit more. <laughs> hopefully not, but you probably will. Um, and yeah, um, no, I don't think there's anything else. So I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.